This is PG Shan, and today we're going to talk about massage. So, what's some benefits of massage? So, from the Western point of view, right, we're talking about the different systems. Now, as uh, for example, today if you have gone shopping, and you end up with some achiness and you go for a foot massage, that's probably working on your musculoskeletal system. For my stroke survivors who have lost that sensation on one side, this is where we do a massage to give some sensory input, hopefully to regain some of that function. For people with lymphedema problem, lymphedema, this is where we can massage the lymph nodes and get rid of the excessive lymph. More common in people with cancer. Then we talk about our indigestion, whereby we massage our tummy after we eat to feel better. Then we talk about, you know, how is it that when you massage or rub a certain part, it becomes red? That's because there's increase in blood circulation there, and therefore it has some impact on our cardiovascular system. Of course, if sometimes our hand is swollen and we start to massage, it goes away. Okay. And we talk about how is it that um, there are a lot of muscles that help us to breathe and sometimes when someone has a chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder, COPD, they tend to overuse all these muscles and they feel very tired. So this is sometimes where we start to release these muscles so that they have a chance to relax and work better to help breathing. Endocrine system is activated when, you know, that after um, that, that, that one massage, you feel so good. That's because there is something called endorphins that is being released into your system. And this endorphin is actually a natural painkiller. As strong as morphine, but without its side effects. And we talk about uh, our productive system. We talk about our uh, bowels. You know, sometimes when you cannot pass your bowel, you, the doctor will ask you to massage along that large intestine to help. Uh, past motion. I do that every day. So, from the TCM point of view, right, um, we talk about, um, so, more of this in the video on acupoints, okay? So, uh, but in general, we're talking about uh, facilitating the meridian lines so that they function, and we talk about increasing the circulation of blood and also tea. And we talk about uh, aligning the muscle fibers, the tendon. We talk about lubricating the joints. We also talk about stimulating our organs to perform better and therefore increase our immunity to fight um, stresses in our surroundings. Now, there are two main uh, purposes here. Uh, one is to uh, prevent ourselves from getting sick. Uh, this is more like wellness, preventive healthcare. Uh, but if you're like myself, I use massage to treat an existing problem. Okay. But having said that, don't, don't go around telling physiotherapists, oh, you're a masseuse. They will kill you first. Okay, so uh, in fact, um, massage is something that I use to provide comfort in a special group of people and these are the uh, palliative care patients uh, towards the end of life uh, and there's a lot of pain and I go in to do some massage to relieve that pain uh, to help with bowels and um, it is a form of communication a non-verbal communication and this is where I teach the family member how to perform it for their loved one when they find it difficult to have any conversation, but they still want to care, they still want to show love, so this is where it comes in. Uh, but there are also research to support uh, the use of massage in palliative care, not just in humans, but in animals as well. Okay, So, um, from a physiotherapy point of view, we do massage on muscles, mainly muscles. So, if you know uh, the design of the muscle, you can go, say for example, my hand, right? So, this is the muscle, this is the bone. We go, either you can go along that muscle, 
or you can go perpendicular to it across or you can go circular to that muscle can't really go wrong but if you come from the TCM point of view they go more in depth okay so but before that you must understand that when we talk about TCM we're talking about an organ system and there will always be a balance to it in order to be healthy so when there is an imbalance either there is insufficiency or excess this is where the balance tips and this is where um, a practitioner will use acupressure acupoints okay to restore this balance so if there is insufficiency to boost up the function they will go along a meridian line towards the heart a clockwise direction light intensity slow and a long duration however if today there's an excess in that system to bring it down the TCM practitioner will go against the meridian line it will go away from the heart counterclockwise it's high intensity fast and usually the duration is short okay so do take note though there are certain people who you should be really careful you may not even want to do massage on them number one they have uh, some form of infection around the area number two they have a cancer that is very active sometimes the skin is like paper you don't want to break it and sometimes there will be some infection condition like COVID of course uh, if that's it there is perforation um, in the area you do not want to touch it some people with osteoporosis if you go hard you cause a fracture and of course people with fracture please don't touch them you break something more uh, for women with menses and uh, pregnancy please be careful and uh, of course private areas please please be really really careful okay so there we go um, some points to note if you see any of this it means that you have gone too hard so lighten up people so in general I say give yourself some time to calm down and don't rush because once you start rushing the person who is receiving your touch will feel it so be in a correct state of mind to give to love because once that mentality is right you will not want to strangle someone but you will treat that person with tender loving care all right so have a try all the best